go live option. There it is. Yeah. What's up, duelists? What's up, duelists? Live stream time. Live stream, baby. We live. We out here. We are out here. What's up, Broken Eclipse? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This is a deck that I just played in today's video. Quick Draw Relinquished. I only did one game with it because I only had time for one game with it, but we may play it some more here today on stream because it is a fun deck. In fact, let's just go ahead and hop right into a game. Let's just get it started. What's up, Dark Moltac? How are you guys doing today? What's up, Duelists? Edison format. This is going to be the Edison live stream. Good luck, have fun. <sighs> Freaking paper. Jeez, man. I am 0 and 5 on rock, paper, scissors. Appreciate that smiley face today. So hopefully I win this RPS because I need a dub. Thank God. What's up, GMAC? How's it going? Okay, we are going first. Very nice, very nice. Mm, opening hand. Pretty good. Pretty good. I think we just hang hang tight on a lot of this stuff. We could go Lila and Phase Mill 3. We could go Manchu Search Relinquished. I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go Manchu Search Relinquished. And we'll hang on to the Lila, because next turn we can go Lila Pop and then Ritual away the Lila and then steal whatever he summons. How's it going, Bersala and Dianthea? How are you guys doing today? Lure of Darkness. That's all good. They're going to banish a dark monster or discard their entire hand. <laughs> or I should say send their entire hand to the graveyard. There goes Dark Arm. Thank God. Did not want to play against that. <laughs> That's always a welcome sight. Seeing Dark Arm Dragon hit the graveyard. Or not graveyard. Banish zone. Happy Camper. Happy Camper. Okay. We could play into Torrential. I'm gonna do it. I, I really don't see why we why we wouldn't. It's possible he also has like bottomless and stuff. There's the bottomless. Totally chill. Let's go swing for 14. Getting in our chip damage. My day's going good. It's been kind of kind of weird. My sleep schedule is really messed up. But yeah, oh that is annoying. I wonder which one of these he was holding. Whether he was holding Sirocco hoping to draw Whirlwind or holding Whirlwind hoping to draw a monster. Probably the latter. He probably had Whirlwind. This might be tough because he has so many trap cards and we have no way to play through them. Dang. We kind of have to allure. We could either allure or we could foolish the Jin. Okay, I'm all for Foolish the Djinn, and then go for the Black Illusion Ritual. I think that's fine. This could potentially help us out. I'm going to play this. He might have Royal Oppression, and in which case we might just lose. But there's nothing we can do about that. Okay, never mind. We actually do get to summon Relinquished, and then... Priority, take Sirocco. Ooh, very nice. I can attack into Mirror Force. What's up, Jamie? And I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to attack into Mirror Force. They could have D-Prison too. Yeah, the reason I want to attack here is because, like, he could have Icarus attacks that are just dead. They're not doing anything. And he could have, like, another Bottomless that's just dead, not doing anything. And as a result of that, I kind of want to get my damage in so I could potentially kill him with Brain Control plus Relinquish later in the game. It's not super likely, but it's possible. We are pretty far off from resolving our Avarice. We don't have, like, any way to mill. We don't have, like, a Car Trooper or Ryko or something like that. So we're kind of in a weird spot. We also don't have anything we really want to banish with the Lure. We actually have nothing to banish with the Lure. So our hand's pretty dead. Okay, here's Kalut, Search Black Whirlwind. That's fine. He has Shura in hand, though, so it's kind of weird that he would... 
Are we searching Blizzy? Okay. That's cool. Manju's a good draw. Let's just attack. Heal Icarus here, for sure. Yep, there it is. Okay, Icarus hits the Relinquished. And then... Main Phase 2. What have we got? Man. We really don't want to summon Manju into... Um, into his Shura. So... What's up, Jamie Buchanan? Welcome in, everyone. I just noticed that it does a little heart thing when you guys like the stream. So if anyone wants to like the stream, it'll give me a little heart on the side of the chat. That's super cool, actually. You get a little animation for that. That's a nice addition. I'm enjoying that quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to feed his Shura. Yep, there's that Shura that we knew about. Whirlwind can search. But this is, this is okay. We can have a turn where we maybe kill him this turn. Maybe. Probably not. Oh, what is going on? We're going to take 1,800. He's got Blizzy, he's got Clue, he's got two back row Heavy Storm one time. Okay. Hmm. What's the move? Man, this is tough. We could just set Raiko, but he's going to, like, go the fuck off on us with, like, the Blizzy and stuff. This seems tough. Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Let's go ahead and brain control the Shura. I think everything starts there. And then we'll summon Manju. I think. Yeah, we have to, because we have to get a lure food. I think. Allure risk. We could allure risk. Or we could just sack the Shura for the for the guy, for the relinquished. This guy can only absorb monsters the opponent controls, which is a little annoying. Uh, if we allure risk, what are we drawing to? Chaos Horser for game? God, that's so high risk. It's so unnecessarily high risk too. I can just play to the Avarice and be fine. So we'll deal 3,200 here. And then I will actually Black Illusion Ritual, Sacrifice the Shura, and Special Summon Out Relinquished in Defense. This is not great, but we're closer to Avarice, I guess. It's not bad. And they're really low. They're at 1400. So we could potentially kill them randomly. Are we going to? Probably not, but we could potentially kill them randomly. Now, if the opponent has double Kalut, we do lose. But don't let them know that. Don't let them know that. If they have Bora, we also probably lose. If they have Soroka, we probably lose. There is the Blizzy. We know that they have at least one Kalut. Simas asks, what do you think of Junk Synchron and Quick Draw Dandy deck? It sounds fucking terrible because you just don't have extra deck space. It's not good. I don't I don't really see the need for access to generic synchros in those decks because you only have like three extra deck slots at most. So yeah, no, I never I would never play it there. The only time I would play it is if you're playing like tuning wear shit. What's up, Ram? How's it going? You tried Dragons DD Warrior Lady against Gladiator Beast and you lost? I don't know how you lost that matchup. That's a really good matchup. Okay, we're just dead, though. Like, low-key. I need to just alert risk anyway. All right, we're going to draw two. We hit Sangin. What am I playing? What do I think of Lava Grinder, the deck? What the fuck is that? I don't even know what that is. Why do you ask me questions that don't make any sense? This doesn't make it. It doesn't make any sense doesn't make any sense this is potentially a game shot i mean like at the very least it's a live avarice because we can priority junk archer activate priority do you have solemn judgment what do you got 
Get that shit out of here. Oh my fucking god, dude. This is this is why this is why. What is that question? What do you think is best Blackwing deck variant? I don't know. But... Pot of Avarice. We're gonna shuffle back Junk Archer. Quick draw. Relinquished. Relinquished. We could potentially win here. Junk Archer, Quick Draw, Relinquished, Relinquished, and Manju. Draw two. Fuck. Man, we were so close. All we needed was a prep. And we could have won. Let's get some info. Okay, he's on road. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. Preferred beverage. What the fuck question? Water, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> um, Lila's good. How did I side in the... I think I sided like this in the video today. It was like quick draw out. Debris dragon out. Um, I forget what else I side out. Brain control one avarice. Cool. We'll try this. Yeah, I drink a lot of water. I should actually probably go get some water. But yeah, I like water. Um, you didn't know gym was a thing? It kind of is. I feel like nobody plays it. You know? That's my thing. Is I feel like nobody plays it. Fuck, this hand is bad. Like, it's not bad. It's just not good. You know what I mean? This is not good. Okay. Manju is going to search Black Illusion Ritual. If I get Shura popped, it's really bad. I should set Decree, though. I should set Decree. I want to set Heavy because I can clear a Whirlwind. Like, if he starts Whirlwind Start, and I won't have to Heavy away my own Decree. Yeah, fucking bitch, dude. I wanted to set heavy for that reason, but I figured, like, decree is better um, to have up, like, ASAP, in case he has his own heavy storm or space typhoon. So it's like gamble that he has heavy storm space typhoon versus him having black whirlwind, which is two versus two. You feel me? Thanks for liking the stream. It actually does that cute little heart thing. That's really cute. I like that a lot. This is fucking annoying. I don't want to play against this stupid shit. I'm so mad I got the 50-50 wrong. Oh, that's so tilting. What's the move then? Do I just have to heavy storm into fucking relinquish? He has his Kalut 3 unknown. Yeah, Elusive Mirror, I think the Demise, that's so sick. Look at that heart. That's so tight. Oh, that's such a good ad, dude. That's such a good ad. Um, yeah, we just have to storm. This fucking sucks, but we have to fucking do it because I can't really afford to let him have Whirlwind Searches. Man, that's so annoying. I should have set Storm. I knew it was the better play if he had Whirlwind, but he's thinking about Chain Icarus. He should have Chained Icarus to keep the monster out of play. And it also would guarantee his Bora hit the grave. Fool. You fool. Black Illusion Ritual. This is really bad, though, by the way. Like, this is really not a good spot for us. Richard, I think you are insanely wrong for that take. Not only is Gadets not a deck, <laughs> Kappa, uh, they're not even like in the first three tiers of decks. You would make him attack, then Battle Fader, the Shadow Monarch him, maybe. I can't let him get Whirlwind Searches, because then I'm just going to lose. Honestly. Oh my god, of course he has more fucking back row. Oh, oh. That's a great draw though. We're just gonna attack. Is that jar? Let's see the jar. 
Oh, let's say Chris, okay. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. That's fine. We got our card advantage back a little bit. At least a plus one there. Because the relinquished traded for two cards. Oh, it is a meme. Nice. Are there any cards that have come out since Edison format that you would think would be interesting if Edison had them? No, not really. Besides maybe like... I think I've mentioned one or two in, in passing, but I don't think there's anything that I'm like... I think would drastically improve the format. I think just about everything the format has is like where it should be. There are cards I wish weren't in Edison format. Like, I wish Herald of Orange Light wasn't in Edison format. I hate that card. The card's so fucking broken. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, now we can prep. Right? Yep. We still have a relinquished in deck. So we can prep. Go grab relinquished. Black Illusion Ritual. And then we can Illusion Ritual. Dude, Preparation Rights is busted. Priority take. Hell yeah. And if this dies, we can Avarice. I disagree, Elusive Mirror. I think drawing going first is totally fine for this format. Would Junk Destroyer be a good card in S format? Of course he has fucking Deep Prison, man. The one card that means so I can't Avarice. That's so annoying, man. Um... No, I don't think there would be any changes to Edison format that would make it better. I'm just going to say that right now. I think the format's really good. That's it. Okay, you have Vayu here. Let me take 800. I need a fucking monster, dude. I need a fucking Lila. Jesus fucking Christ. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. This game changes if I just fucking set Heavy Storm instead of Decree. And then go for the 50-50. That is so stupid, dude. I'm so mauled. Alright. <laughs> At least we survive a term. What's my favorite deck to play against? Probably Black Wings or Frogs. I like playing against Frogs because you can do whatever you want and they're never going to stop you. Like, you can just play your busted strategy and, like, combo off and do everything and the Frog deck just has to sit there and watch that's that's pretty fun tribute for Sirocco. okay Vayu makes armor master okay uh attack token i'm assuming they want to attack one of these there it goes main phase two sets another back row of course. Chaos Sorcerer, Pot of Avarice, consistently looking like the most cringe shit to ever exist. I'm going to go ahead and Pot of Avarice now before I uh, do anything. This gives him an opportunity to Icarus me, but whatever. Three, four, five. Let's see what we can draw into. Prep is good. Relinquish is good. Allure is decent. I'm going to go for it. Because we have this stupid Chaos Rusher that's not doing anything. I was going to chain. Okay. Okay. Chain to Allure. Alright. The graveyard. Show. And then uh, draw one, draw two. Discards Car Trooper. Show hand. And then we are going to banish Sorcerer. What's up, Javis? Is that how you pronounce your name? Uh, yeah, we're going to go for a Chaos Sorcerer, or Caius. Target the Armor Master. This shouldn't even be a game, bro. We should just be winning this. Crushing it. No deep prison one time. Dude! What the fuck?! <laughs> Yeah, it's never Icarus when I need it to be, right? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Top deck prep, we might win this. Top deck avarice. Nah, still nothing's happening. 
Do I have anything that runs this over? Lila, charge should be okay. Deck dev destroys token, no. Oh, it should have, yeah. Oh, my bad, I didn't notice. My V, deck dev should have destroyed token. GG's. I'm just gonna admit, because I would have died. Um, yeah, didn't catch that. Dude, that whole fucking game um, would have been different if I just set Heavy Storm instead of Royal Decree. That whole game changes. That whole fucking game changes. That is so tilting. Because it's like, if he has one of his two whirlwinds, it's so bad for me to fucking set Decree instead of Heavy Storm. But if he has Space Typhoon Heavy, it's better for me to set Heavy Storm than Decree. And here we are. He just had he had it all. Fucking insane, man. If I had just set Heavy Storm there instead of Decree, I would have been... I would fucking crush that guy. That's so annoying. Stupid fucking 50-50. I'm off this deck. We're playing something else. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We'll play one more. We'll play one more. Oh, that was really tilting. Mm. Nice catch, V. Nice catch. I totally missed that. I don't know why I missed that, but yeah, I totally missed that. Let me see. What could we play instead of this? I don't want to play this stupid shit anymore. yeah it's insane sometimes you make one stupid little play that's like not necessarily the wrong play but it can be the wrong play um and then it just uh loses you the entire game and it's like something you do before your opponents even had a turn and it like messes up everything i like totally punted a match earlier too that i was really mad about i was like playing glads and then i like misplayed in game two and then i like punted the match and i was just like so mad um What's up, Underclocked? You're new to the format and you've been binging my content the last couple of months. Hey, I'm really happy that you've been enjoying it and that it's been helping you out. That was very unfortunate. Edison is a great format for deck building, but gameplay is high variance for you. I don't think is that high variance. Well, that last game was kind of high variance, but like if you think about it, the better play is to set Heavy Storm. The better play is to set Heavy Storm because like if... Let's say if he does have Heavy Storm for my Decree, at least I still have Heavy Storm. But if he has Whirlwind, then I lose. So I had to weigh the fact, like, the risk of him having Whirlwind is so much worse for me than the risk of him having Heavy Storm for my Decree. Um, so I should have I should have, I should have weighed that fact and then uh, set Heavy Storm instead. So that's definitely... It's definitely better to set Heavy Storm there. Uh, whereas Royal Decree is... Like, it's better to set it, it's a 50-50, if I just look at it with regards to what they could draw to out it, but if I look at the end result of those situations, it's better for me to set Heavy Storm and risk that 50-50, because that one doesn't immediately lose me the game the way the other one did, so it's definitely a misplay on my part, now that I'm thinking about it, but yeah, kind of a tough one. I should I, I definitely thought of it, but I thought it would be like a 50-50, I thought there would be more of a chance that he has like Nobleman of Extermination shit in the post board uh yeah i don't know but yeah um it is a great format for deck building but the gameplay is too high variance i i completely disagree i think this is like one of the most skill intensive formats that's why you see the best players topping literally every tournament they enter like how do you see car path like top every single tournament that doesn't make sense right if it was a high variance if it was a high variance format then the same players wouldn't be topping every single event so it's just room wouldn't be getting second third place at every single tournament he enters right you know what i mean like that's that level of consistency is definitely a skill differential in my opinion cl cloud says go to his chest that doesn't make sense at all no it's not that's they're not comparable i don't think chester checkers is even remotely comparable um to to Yu-Gi-Oh whatsoever just because of like deck variants and also like hidden information Hidden information. I would I would compare uh, Yu-Gi-Oh more to like games where there's hidden information. I suppose. You kind of wish it had more Sorks and an extra Magic Cylinder. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I've played against Chaos decks enough in Goat format. I don't need to play against them in Edison. I really don't wish it had anything different. I think the format is perfect, honestly. But obviously, I'm biased, so everyone's entitled to their opinion. All right, we're going to play another one with this one. We're going to play another one with this one. Yeah, let's play one more. That was a tilting game, though. I, I definitely should have thought about that Heavy Storm set more. I think it's better to set Heavy Storm there. 
but it's like so marginal. And the fact that it immediately lost me the game is so tilting, I guess is why I'm tilted. All right, until time, we're gonna win the die roll. Yu-Gi-Oh is closer to poker. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, hidden information, yeah. Remove Dust Shoot. I don't even think Dust Shoot is bad. Like, I people complain about Dust Shoot all the time. I lose maybe one game to Dust Shoot. Like, a bunch. Um, cheers. Uh, what's up, KJH? How you doing today? I saw your drawing on Twitter today. That was sick. That was fucking tight, dude. This hand sucks. Um... What were we talking about? Oh, you go closer to poker? Yeah, probably. It's like poker, but like you don't know what cards are in the deck. Like your opponent can have a, an ace with like a different ability. I don't know. It's like I'm just describing Yu Gi Oh! That's literally it. Gold Sark. Okay, we got time then. <laughs> One turn. Omega Lol. This hand can outspell in traps and it's got Dandelion, but we have no like way to combo. Or do anything. Yeah, this is a bad hand. If this is Christia Sworn, it's pretty bad for us too. Cause Christia is really good against her deck. Lila. Ooh, back row, okay. M phase are gonna mill three. Mind and brain control is the most annoying thing in the format. Maybe. He's maining mind control and light swords. What the fuck? That's crazy. Oh, this hand is ass. This hand is so bad. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of it. Solemn, dude, relax. Okay. We're in T set and we're gonna pass. If he Lila pops, good, you know? Why does he have mind control and solemn judgment? Does anyone know why he has mind control in this deck? Is mind control bad in Light Sworn? Is this something we've been sleeping on? Is mind control actually good in Light Sworn? Does anyone know? Okay, um, this is a misplay from the opponent. They should always Lila first. I mean, he's playing around Dust Shoot by doing this first. Uh, cost. But he should always Lila first. Because if I have, like, bottomless fucking, of course he mills Wolf. Alright. No, that's cool. I didn't want tokens. It's not a big deal. I didn't want tokens anyway. <laughs> People are saying mind control and Solemn Judgment. I think Solemn Judgment's good in Light Swarms. It's actually put up a bunch of tops. Uh, so. Yeah. Mind control might be good. I mean, you take an answer, you just go grab a. Um, what's up, Tio? How's it going? Gorbs! Gorb's top 100 billionaires list. Fucking 9 million light sworn names, of course. Come on, bro. This is so bad. This hand kind of fell, fell on its face for us. It's a Saki card in a Saki deck. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. It seems it seems good to just move something out of the way. I don't know what he's what he's cooking with. He's got JD, he's got four unknowns. We are down somehow three fucking cards. How did this happen? How did we lose three I've played three cards. How am I down three cards? What the fuck has happened, man? This is insane. How am I down three cards? Can someone fucking explain this to me? I guess we lost Decree and Dandelion for free, but the Typhoon was traded one for one. How am I down three cards? This is so dumb. Oh, they milled the Wolf. They're plus one. That makes sense. Uru Kizis? Okay. Are you not using prep to hide the goo from your opponent? Yeah, pretty much. Plus, if I mill Black Illusion, then it's better. Okay, he gains attack, whatever. He has four names. But I still need to force shit by dropping gores. So he can JD here main two. If he wants to. And blow up the field. What's up Dominic? How's it going? How's it going Matthew? 
I hope this is a good time for the stream. Normally I stream in the middle of the night. Yes. Okay, so he can either use the plague to synchro or he can drop JD and blow up the field. Either way, we're pretty boned unless we find specifically Car Trooper and we mill Black Illusion plus Jin. <laughs> okay. No, it's not looking good, folks. It's not looking good. We are just dead next turn. We're going to summon the Lila. We're going to try to get in a bunch of damage, but you already know how this story goes. Run over the Urukizis. We're going to swing into Honest, and then we're going to concede. Here it is. Oh, never mind. Okay. Well, well, well. Time to melt. Cat's out of the bag, folks. And we milled nothing good either. I think we're dead. Oh my gosh. That is so fucking annoying. I think if I went first, I might have had a better shot at this game. Yeah, pay, pay a thousand. Okay. Normal summon a monster. This opponent is really slow rolling this. Normal summon. Thank you. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. This game, we got Thunder Kings. We got Vanities, which is very nice. We got Soul X. We can cut Royal Decree entirely. We got Heavy Storm Space Typhoon. And where else can we make some cuts? What's well, probably not the best in this? We need Jin too, actually. Um, Lila's kind of shit. Raikou's a mind control target. Uh, might have been yesterday. I'm not really sure. I'm going to cut a Pot of Avarice. Yeah. How many cards is that? Six? We could just do one soul exchange on the draw. Swap them. We could bring in Solemn too. I don't really like Solemn against this deck. I guess it can clip Celestia, which is kind of nice. DD Crow is also interesting. There's consideration for DD Crow and Solemn Judgment. Solemn Judgment's not that great against Lila, which is why I don't elect to bring it in. Soul exchange can be Peepo Pog. I'm not sure if it's better than Pot of Avarice or not. Probably. Maybe DD Crow. Yeah, maybe. DD Crow can stop Plague and Wolf. So it's like decent. It's also a search off of Sangin we can get. I'm not sure what we cut for it though. Because it's like cut maybe Charge. Or Brain Control. Or Honest. But Honest defending Thunder King is really good. So I don't know. I think we're just going to try it as is. DD Crow's low impact, so. I just recognize the opponent's playing 50 cards. Interesting. I feel like you should play 40 cards. But maybe that's just me, you know? <laughs> maybe that's just me. Let's set Raikou. If we mill a dark, we can drop Sork. You like to Solemn Recharge? Yeah, me too. I like that play too. I could have maybe sided out Card Trooper. Card Trooper can attack into like starters pretty effectively though. Which is kind of nice. Dude, he has 50 cards and he starts fucking Card Trooper for my Raikou. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the one card. The one card. I'm so fucking mauled. You wrote, a, you wrote a now? Why would you wrote a... What? Why would you not wrote it for Aaron? Oh my god. This is so tilting. This is so tilting to watch. This is so tilting. I am so tilted. Holy fuck. How is this even like fucking... How is this real life? How is this real life? I don't understand it. You're gonna play around Ryko and not the set dandelion I had last game? Jeez fucking Christ. I'm so mauled. Oh my god. I'm getting 50 50 out of this fucking universe. I'm going to mill only. Okay, we hit a dark, thank god. And a dandelion. I'm going to make the fucking dandy tokens. 
He says, I hate this game. What do you mean you hate this game? You opened your one of car trooper for my Ryko. And you f fucking had a perfect start last game. What do you hate about this game? What, what do you hate about it? What are you complaining about? What do you mean? Oh my god, I am so tilted. Watch, the background is like some fucking solemn judgment shit too. Watch. Here it is. No, I know it. I know the background is solemn judgment. I know it. I know it. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What's the plan? I think it's just Chaos or sure Banish. He wrote it for Junk Synchron. So I'm just gonna banish his shit. Chaos Sorcerer Banish. Watch, it's Torrential. Oh my fucking god! Dude, are you kidding me? What do you hate about this game? What do you hate about this game? Oh my fucking god. That is so stupid. Oh man. Alec Garbix says, Easy Keegan, this is your fan, bro. You can be my fan and still be an insufferable complainer when you win. Uh, card Trooper is destroyed and you get to draw. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? Uh, yeah, Torrential is chain link too. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. What do you hate about this game? What do you hate about this game? What do you What do you hate about this game, Yuma? I'm curious. What do you hate about this game? Because it seems like you've opened fucking perfectly in your fucking fifty card deck. Holy shit! Oh my god, dude! I can't play this fucking game. I can't do it. I knew I knew this would happen. I knew if I played more today, I would get tilted. I do have the Millennium Eye. I do have the Millennium Eye. Thomas says cough, cough, high variance. I mean, I'm still winning, so there's that. But whatever. All right. Um, it's either Trooper Poke or Gin Poke, but I think it's Trooper Poke. And attack for 19. Million Black Illusion is really good. Watch his glories too. Kappa. No, he doesn't. Literally, Alex Ugo. Literally. What are the chances, man? Time to go play some Gladiator Beast. I'll play Glads after this. I'll play Glads. I have a new list. Dude, imagine he has Trag, he pitches Argus, steals the Trooper, and I just fucking lose. Mills three more names, drops JD. Okay, here's Jane. That's good for us, kinda. Thanks for re-upping your, your membership, Enraged Peacock. Much appreciated. 1700, we're gonna draw a card. Okay, prep is really good. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Accidental zoom. What do you mean, back row? What do you mean, back row? Oh my god. So okay. You want to send me a build? Okay. Do what you must. All right, Black Illusion Ritual Time. Watch this. Royal Oppression. Solemn Judgment. No, I'm just kidding. There's no way he has more sauce. Okay, he's letting this happen. We sack Jin. Special Relinquished. Relinquish, activate, take the Jane. With priority. We move it here. I think this is pretty tough for Light Sworn to get out of. The Jin Lock. We just attack. Have I milled a Relinquished? No. Okay. Takes 18. We could prep now or like foolish now, but I don't really see the point of doing that. We might need to foolish a gin later, so I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna hold the foolish. M phase call. Can't gin. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty hard for them to get out of the gin lock. Yeah. Torrential's insane. That's a good one to know about, I suppose. Hmm. 
They could Lila pop the Jane? No, that doesn't do anything. They just have to have her. Uh, opponent's been very polite despite the perceived hypocrisy. Just kidding. If you know, you know. Uh, yeah. Man, that's just so tilting. Yeah. What the fuck question is that, Shadow Dragon? That doesn't make any sense. That question just doesn't make any sense. Oh, no, yeah, you can have... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I might scream. I might scream. We can reestablish it. We can reestablish it, but I might scream. I might scream. I might actually scream. That's literally the one fucking out in this whole deck. We can reestablish it, though. We can reestablish. We just need to... You know, hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. God, dude. Okay, that's cool. Here comes Necrogarden at Wolf Plague. Oh, well, there's the plague, but thankfully, the Jin Relinquished will stop that. And we will have ourselves a grand old time. Grab Relinquished. Grab back Black Illusion Ritual. What's my favorite deck in Edison? Probably Dragons because I've won a bunch of tournaments with it. Uh, just because like I've won a lot with it. So the reason we're foolishing Jin is to play around Crow. We go Black Illusion Ritual. Banish Jin. He'd need to have Double Crow to stop this. Special Relinquish. Relinquish Take. And then attack for 16. I don't know, man. It's different per it's different for for decks. Different different for every deck. Why do some play decks plays two star dragon? Because they want two star dragon. That's it. That's the only reason. Like, you just gotta reason through your deck. Like, there isn't like a in Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, there's no like right or wrong answers. There's only like whatever logic you can put behind it and whatever you can back up with your testing i don't know if that makes any sort of fucking sense but yeah how many outs does he have left how many outs does he have left brain control space typhoon that's it right it's just brain control space typhoon burial what the fuck is this motherfucker has burial in his deck and he opened like this are you kidding me? Some tips versus Blackwing if I'm playing X Sabers. Well, um, activate Starlight Road. Okay, Ryko, that could be annoying. But again, we can re up, so I'm cool with this. We'll go Manju. Actually, we have we have game. Because we go search relinquished. No, we don't have game because Soul Exchange eats our battle phase. That's so fucking annoying. No, we do have game. We just... Black Illusion Ritual fucking banish the Jin and steal his shit with Relinquished. Yeah, no, this is just game. Okay, cool. I am... I am so tilted. I am so fucking tilted. Why does he have so many fucking trap cards? Why did he have every out to the Jin Relinquished? Why was that... Th why was that the game we just played? What the fuck, man? Okay, uh, Solemn Judgment. What do you guys think? Solemn J? Solemn, Solemn Jeezy? What do you guys think? Fucking scam likely. Stop calling me, bitch. I'm just kidding. Solemn Judgment. Nah, that's probably not that good. Go on second. We could bring in Cyber Dragon. Just to, like, run over his shit. And to kill Card Trooper, because he's for sure gonna fucking open it. Ugh. I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. Uh, what is it better than? Hmm. What do you guys want? What, what, what do you guys think? I'm going first. No, I'm going second. I won that game, so I'm going second this game. He's not going to pick to go second. Or, yeah. Yeah, I'm going second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? That new little react thing on the side is kind of tight. What is that? That's so sick. Does anyone know what that is? Is that what happens when you like the stream? 
If you like the stream, do those hearts pop up? How does that work exactly? It's kind of tight. I'm I'm kind of vibing with it, low-key. Which of these cards is worth cutting for Cyber Dragon? Maybe like Debris, because it can be dead early. Even though it's like fucking nice with Dandy if we ever have it. Um... Is it like better than fucking Gorbs? No, Gorbs is good. Is he good? I don't even know. Maybe I'll just do one Cyber Dragon for one Debris. Okay, that's it. Crow seems good versus the 50 card deck. New base says Battle Fader. Ideally, if I land Relinquished, they can't JD OTK me. And this hand is pretty close to landing Relinquished. I'm not cutting preparation rights. That card's insane. You saw it last game, right? You saw what it did last game. I fucking, I fucking told you. I fucking told you. I fucking told you. He would start card trooper. I fucking told. I fucking said it. Oh my god. Okay. No. It's. Yeah. Sure. Do your thing. What'd you mill? Consecrated. Yeah. Of course. Of course you have consecrated light. No, that's cool. I'm. I. I knew it. I fucking knew it. We need to draw one of our like. If we draw prep here, we're fucking crushing that kind of works that kind of works okay so we need to manage you for relinquished run over the card trooper watch we're gonna draw our second Rego next turn i already know it i could have cited out the charge in the Rikos and brought in the cyber dragons that's something I did think about, but I'm like, what are the chances he starts Card Trooper twice in his 50 card deck? <laughs> one in 50? <laughs> what is it, six and 50? What is that, one in seven games? I don't know. All right, they have one name, but Consecrated is a bold pick because our deck is not play that many darks, you know? Dude, why does he have fucking trap cards? Why do you have fucking interaction, bro? What do you mean? Okay, we're gonna charge. Mill three. Milling Relinquish is pretty bad. That's like one of the worst things we could mill. This is gonna grab us, Ryko. We are gonna attack the set monster here with Manju. What is he thinking about? Oh, it's Necrogarna? Okay. Yeah. And then, main two, I'm going to set Raikou. Because I just need to kill the back row. I can't commit my Jin Relinquish till I've cleared the back row. He probably mains Consecrated Light. He mains Mind Control. Okay, Recharge Pitch Wolf. Okay. As long as he doesn't mill wolf and then have Celestia, we're okay. Mills Lila. Okay, that's name number three. Shadow Mirror. Ooh, that's scary. He has some hateful stuff, no lie. Shadow Mirror. Interesting. Hmm. He only has three names, though, so we're kind of chilling. Mm. Okay, Lumina. That's still okay, I think. At least I think it's okay. Yeah, do your thing, man. Lumina pitch still doesn't put him to four names. He's just gonna set a back row. The hell? What is the point of this? Why would you not activate the Lumina? Why would you not? What the fuck is going on, man? Am I missing something? D prison? What the fuck is going on, man? Okay. Cool. Well, that was a good draw. That was a really good draw. We're going to start by going after the back row. Obviously, because that's what we need to get rid of. Mill three. Nice. We milled a black illusion ritual. That's amazing. Hmm. Okay. Like, our game plan is still the same. 
We're just gonna have to prep, I think, first. Yeah, let's go prep now. Grab Relinquished, grab Black Illusion Ritual to our hand. Um, we can go Black Illusion Ritual, see if he has a response to this. We're going to sack the Djinn. Special Summon out, Relinquish in Defense. Priority activate. We summon in defense because of Shadow Mirror. On summon. Uh, DD Crow. Sh so, ch so, chain link one, relinquish, chain link two, Crow. Anything else? Okay, so they're going to crow the djinn. That kind of sucks because we might have needed it. But I'm going to take the Lumina. Give me the Lumina. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Wait, what? What is he saying? I don't understand. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, and then we're just going to... We're just going to attack both monsters. I don't really know what's going on. Does anyone know what's going on? Set Raikou and pass. So he can't really play this game. Uh, again, Raikou can pop the back row. So we're chilling. He needs like Storm plus Monster to run over Relinquished. And then even then, I think we can like maybe put something together next turn where we OTK potentially. Nah, probably not. We have a chance to mill a second Jin though, which is nice. The DD Crow is interesting. That could have come up. He does need an out. Oh, I guess Aaron. Fuck. That's so annoying. Mild is mind control. Mild a wolf. Can't bring out the wolf because of the gin. Again. So, yeah, he does have Aaron. I didn't think about that, but. Wasn't Rhoda already gone, or was that last game? Rhoda, Rhoda was gone. What the fuck, man? I'm getting sacked by top deck charge. Bruh! <laughs> this is so annoying. I mean, it's still fine. We just need to hit uh, a guy, you know? This is also cool, too, because, like, returning the Relinquish to the top of the deck is actually... Or not to the top of the deck. To the deck is kind of nice. Because then preparation is a live top deck. Main phase two. Yeah, I think Relinquish is really underrated. A lot of top decks win us this game. I don't know what he's thinking about here. He can make Bryonic and then bounce my Raikou. What the fuck? What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> yeah, I had relinquished. Had relinquished with Jin. Can't summon it. What? What is he? What? What is he talking about? What is going on? This is like cursed. This is a cursed moment. This is a cursed moment. Uh, no worries. No worries. Yeah, uh, Wolf is just not summoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is, in general, if you're gonna be like super nervous when you play against me, just don't play against me. <laughs> Like, if it makes you this uncomfortable, just don't try my game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Mills Sork, Mills Avarice. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Brain control. That does nothing for us. All right. Fuck, man. 
what do we do? Can we win this turn? 14, 28, 44. We can put him out of JD range, which is what matters, but we can't win this turn, which is unfortunate. So we just have to manju search Black Illusion Ritual. First things first, yeah, first things first, we manju. Activate. If he has Torrential, it sucks. Really, really sucks. But we're at 8,000, so we're not really at risk of dying. This will grab us Black Illusion Ritual. Again, we leave Relinquish in the deck because we have Prep. So it's like we have two copies of him, and we only have one copy of Black Illusion Ritual, if that makes sense. Although technically Prep is a copy of Black Illusion Ritual. And Milling Relinquish would suck, whereas Milling Black Illusion Ritual wouldn't suck. So maybe I should have searched for Relinquished. I don't fucking know. It's all the same. We're going to target the back row. Mill three. Hopefully I don't mill my Relinquished because I kind of need that guy. Cool, we didn't mill him. And then we can go Black Illusion Ritual, sacrificing Dandelion? No, we should probably sacrifice a Ryko because it doesn't change the math, right? Because this is 3,4600, which puts him to 800. So yeah, we didn't mill the Jin, which sucks. But that's okay. Yeah, we should still just sack the Ryko and save the Dandy. Because if he has JD, then... Uh, or not JD, but a way to blow up the field, like something crazy. P saying Arcus would have ended this game. Yeah, probably. Probably. 200, 1400. 1400. He can Necro Garner this next attack and then still JD us. That's why I want to save on this. Um, he can take this 14, Necrogarden the 16, and then... Um, is he saying think here? What is he saying? Necro Relinquish? Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So he can still JD nuke us, but then Brain Control kills him. Tim Pontes, I have said this a million times. I think Lolly Dad is a tier 1 deck. I think it's broken as shit. But you can't be like a noob. If that makes sense. Okay, we're we're close. We're close. Chat, we're close. We could potentially win this game. We could potentially win this match. Despite the opponent having some really good draws. And some really good mills. Hopefully it's not like double JD monster reincarnation the sorcerer. That type of shit. Even like double JD 1000 plus monster is bad because then we can't brain JD and then like double JD honest would be really bad. Okay, there's JD number one, pays a thousand. That's going to work out well for the opponent here. Oh man, pot of avarice. They're playing multiple fucking avarice. How did they not break in this deck, dude? Oh my god. This has been the Light Sworn experience. This has been the mauled, the unbelievable mauled. I wish I could draw like this. Where's my fucking pot of avarice? What is going on, man? Okay, what are the targets? I appreciate him typing it out here. This is actually sick. You're saying you got this. I need to survive at 1800 or 1900 so I can brain control plus JD activate. If I can't do that, then I lose. And there's a good chance I won't be able to do that. So, I mean, here we are. He's going to shuffle back Sorcerer. Bunch of normals. Get it twisted. Hey, let's go sub two. Lumina... Consecrated, Sorok, Trooper, Wolf, Crow. Shuffling back Wolf is a sociopath move. Uh, but sure, go nuts. I guess you have to because it's a, it's a unique name. He summoned the JD for some odd reason. What do you mean? <laughs> he had Crow for the Jin, dude. That's so tilting. Is there such a thing as a more base deck? Maybe. This deck is really tight, though. I have to admit, this deck is really tight. 
Dude, I don't understand how they be on some 50 card like nonsense and then draw this wall. Couldn't be me. Okay, that's fine. Did we do we do we make this? Did we make it? Did we make it chat? Did we make it? He didn't attack with JD. What the fuck are you doing? Not attacking with JD? What do you mean you're not attacking with JD? Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I just had a revelation. Yeah, you got a mill six. Got a mill six. There's two off Arcus. One. Uh, mill four with JD. Right. Did he mill six? Did I just miss something? No, he didn't, right? Yeah, good thing JD's is a fucking dark armed in this deck. Yo! Oh my god. I know, good thing JD is in a light swarm. Alright, we win this game no matter what. Because we brain JD if he has Solemn, then uh, Drill Warrior wins. I'm a sack. I'm a sack. I'm a sack. G cheese. G cheese. And the crowd goes wild. And the crowd goes wild. I was gonna do this. Pitch dandy. Special summon. Make drill. And this kills. Insane. Oh, he did give six targets for avarice i can't count thought you had gores even if i did still just trade arcus for gores this jd can blow up again yeah jd isn't once per turn it's just however when you want you can pay a thousand destroy all other cards on the field <laughs> yeah yeah, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. God damn. How did I win this match? This is a great fucking question, OMG Lawton. I should have lost this match, probably. But, alas, here we are, folks. Here we are. Everybody has to like the stream for that. Relinquish W. Shout out to my opponent for being a good sport. Uh course thank you too i'm mauled but it's all for the stream you know how it goes uh good shit good shit we made it out we made him out to the other side made it out to the other side folks all right next up we're gonna play glads because kalindi wanted us to did he send me a list hold up he did okay hold up hedge guard kalindi hedge guard Oh, I don't want to play fucking hedge guard. Okay, I'll play hedge guard. All right. Uh, send me the DB link. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I can show you the, the glad list I was working on. I might have deleted it. I might have deleted it. I think I did. I did delete it. Every time I lose with glads, I immediately delete the deck. Broken Eclipse says GB not good. I know, but is Relinquished that much better? Possibly. We should maybe just be maxing the Jin stuff. And like not playing like Chaos Sorcerer. Hey YouTube Brian, thanks for tuning in. I'll never play Glads ever again. Why do people like that deck? Uh, export. Yeah, you see this right here where it says export deck right above set as default. You just click that and it gives you a link. And then I'll be able to load it in. Against my better judgment, I will load in your Gladiator Beast deck and I will play it, Kalindi. Against everything that my, my heart tells me, I will play it. I will play it. Pain and suffering. All right, hold up, hold up. We about to have a Gladiator B stream. 
Yo, thank you for everyone just tuning in. While I'm loading up this deck, go ahead and drop a like on the stream. And subscribe if you haven't already. We just broke 8,500 subscribers on the stream right now. 8,502 subscribers. Shout out, you guys. You guys are the real ones. We're on our way to 10K. I kind of want to do something to, like, ramp up to 10K. Dude, my computer, like, started overheating the second I opened this Glider Air Beast list. That's either a bad sign or a good sign. <laughs> okay, we got the deck opened up. And I'm going to close Discord, hopefully not to crash everything. Everything coming crashing down. we got to download the deck. I love how this is this is titled in your builder as GBV2, Cohen D. Like, this is the second Gladiator Beast list you've ever built. <laughs> it's V2. It's just the second one. <laughs> the first one wasn't good enough, so we had to go with... Uh, we had to go with... Oh my god, that's so cursed. Dude, what's with all these scam calls today? I've gone three. That's like three more than I normally get. That's so funny, man. Okay, this is the list. Wait, this isn't the list. You cut the hedge guards. The fuck? You just sent me the you sent me a different list than the one that was the screenshot. Wait, what? Okay, hold up. What was Is Hedge Guard over Wabaku? Is that what it is? Is that what the change was? What does this shit do? During damage calculation. By this battle. Okay. We'll try it. Was it over Rabaku? This looks like it was it, right? Or am I missing something? Okay, cool. Alright, chatters. It's time. It's time for everybody's favorite deck. Everybody else's favorite deck, I should say. Uh, sigh. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Have fun. This is Zerus, I believe. Zerus, RBET winner. <laughs> Multiple time RBET finalist. We're playing fucking Glads against him. God damn it. Pick paper, please. Thank God. At least we're going first. Thank the Lord, baby. Okay, we're going to open up Secutor Double Hedge Guard. Easy clap. I've already seen it. That's basically the same fucking thing. Holy shit, this sucks. All right. Um, yeah, word. Let's just, uh, when a monster you control is attacked or attacked or attacks or attacked. Cool. Let's just set him. Pass. How goes the stream? I believe it goes well, Leo Power Tool. As you can see, we're having a lot of fun. Bruh! What the fuck? <laughs> He's fucking Christ. I'm setting a Mermillo. Yeah, this hand is heat. My opponent's one card is heat. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. That could have got bad. That could have got bad. What's my back row like? It's not good. I'll say that much. It's not good. All right. Prisma time. Prisma. Uh, activate. Reveal. Geyseris. Send in. Bestiari. Now, as most of you might know, it's time for a contact synchro or fusion. God damn it. Contact something. Contact your lawyer. Guys, there is time. Dude. How? How the fuck did they open like this? That's insane. D come on. Okay, um, what can we do? Uh, did he reveal absolute zero? He didn't, right? Oh. 
Jesus fucking Christ. See, that's not even my fault. It literally is my fault, dude. It's my fault for drawing Marmillo. Delete the deck? <laughs> I'm thinking about it, brother. <sighs> we have plays. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. Yu-Gi-Oh! 808 says this deck sucks. <laughs> I, I refrain from commenting. For the time being, we may yet win this game. We may yet win this game. There's a good fucking chance this deck sucks, though. I'll say it. There's a good fucking chance this deck sucks. There's a good chance we lose. Folks. Okay. Okay, Future Fusion. Pass. Okay. Hmm. This is pretty bad. Call Test Tiger into Secutor, dude ain't got nothing. He said another back row. He's got something, all right? He's got something. And even if it's just something like, look, we'll call. We'll call right now. I'll show you. I'll show you. Call. Target Bestie. I'll show you right now. I'm going to target my best friend, Bestie Ari, right now. Summon it. Let's see that back row. What is it? I'll show you right now. I'll show you right now what he's got. I'll show you right now. We're gonna attack. Watch this play. This is the this is play of the unit of the fucking. That's fine. I was not expecting that. That was a great mill for him though. Okay. 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 Main two. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Prisma. Easy clap. Activate. Reveal Heraclinos. Mr. Klinos. And we send a quarry. Here comes the wind blast. I fucking know he has it. I fucking know he has it. I fucking know he has it. Dude, what is this back row? Is it Call of the Haunted? Like, what the fuck is this back row? Mr. Darius. Bring out the bestiari. All right. I guess we're just we're just living. Activate target both. It's got to be call. Yeah. Okay. Call's fine. Yeah, that's cool. This is chill. He's gonna get a search, but like, who asked? You know. Back row is legacy of Yada. Hey, at least we're keeping him off of absolute zero, which is nice. That's all I care about. And we have the guard. <laughs> I wish this was Wabaku. Oh my god. Okay. What did he search for? I missed it because I zoomed. The fuck? Plague? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. He either has to normal plague or he has to like normal zombie guy <laughs> that's <laughs> descriptive isn't it we may yet win this game folks here it comes heavy storm zombie guy that's what that's literally the guy i was talking about okay plague special summon out plague targeting plague sure and now we book the plague what do you do now what do you do now? What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? Hmm? What are you thinking about? Zerus, what are you thinking about? Yeah, there would be people getting greedy. People would be getting greedy there. But we don't get greedy here on the channel, right? We don't get greedy here, folks. That's a hell of a draw. Goddamn. <laughs> okay, which of these do we kill, though? It's got to be Plague, right? Because we're going to go ready, Ari. E-Quest? Hmm. This one's complicated. This one's complicated. Alright. Guys, Zerus. 
activate, activating. Rediari Mermillo? Okay. Yeah. This is good because we have Mr. Guard. He's gonna banish the plague. How do you know? I I don't want malicious miracle fusion having ass. Man, JK. <laughs> yeah, we're actually chilling. He said recycle a guy. I don't think we need to recycle a guy. I think we can do that later. I just want to get the zombie master out of play because he represents an annoying thing. He can dark arm me, which sucks, but like that's it really. Back row, really? In the year of our Lord? Back row, really? This guard going to be clutch? I don't know about that one, chief. I don't know about that one. Okay, we got to tag out the Mermillo. So we're going to tag with him first in case it's like a turtle or something or a tomato. This dude just wants me to get effects off. This dude just wants me to get effects off. Milo's gonna become Bestiari. Bestiari's gonna destroy his back row. Blow it up. Chain space. Beautiful. And then Rediari's gonna become Equest. And Equest's gonna add back the chariot. Easy clap. Main two, guys, there's, blow up the reaper, no Caius for you, set the chariot past the turn, okay, cool, here comes brain Caius, I believe it, I do believe, he has brain control, Oh, yes. Yes. Hedgeguard did nothing. We won that game on the back of Hedgeguard being useless. Yes. Dude, he opened fucking insane. He opened fucking crazy that game. And we still won. Thank you, KJH. God bless Kalindi. Real American heroes. Braver than the Marines, some say. Gladiator Beast players. Okay, what are we what are we cutting for this fucking matchup? <laughs> we have good cards, but I'm keeping the hedge guard for the fans. This is the only card I want to side out is hedge guard. Maybe road. We could do something like this and then just be like, easy clap. Oh shit, that was a bit of defeat. <laughs> but no, we're keeping the guard. We're keeping the guard for the fans. We're not even gonna draw it anyway. Oh, this hand's fucking cash money, dude. This hand's good. This hand's straight up cash. No crow? Dude, we don't need to side, bro. We don't need to side. Are you kidding me? I don't need to side. Is GB clearly the superior deck? Gladiator Beast? More like Gladiator Best Deck, baby. F shit. You were told to get in here? What's up, Julius? Thank you for re-upping. Also, Andres Raffler? How the fuck did I miss this? Yo, Andres, thank you for the donation. Holy shit. You're a legend. You're a legend. I wish I could VIP you. I wish I could VIP you, but I have no idea how to do that. What's up, Carpath? Thank you so much, Andres. I really appreciate that. Goat status out here. We gotta get ready already back in the deck, so that's who's attacking. Raiko, bitch ass Raiko, dude. And you milled Mizuki, you milled your one good card? Fucking chet. Okay. Pass turn. Thank you so much, Andres. Seriously, very kind. Holy shit. Everyone, everyone's been, uh, everyone's been really kind today. Shout out to you guys. But you could be even more kind by liking the stream right now. Oh, you weren't ready for that. You weren't ready for me to tell you to like the stream. Allure of darkness. Goodbye, Mystic Tomato. Are you 
fucking kidding me? <laughs> sure. Sure, kid. Hit the Laquari. That was cool. Did he attack? I don't even notice if he attacked. Oh, there's the attack. All right. Sure. Sure, kid. Whatever. It's cool. I didn't want to fucking have my hand anyway. Motherfucker left in Spear Reaper versus Glads. And I'm getting hit by it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so tilted, dude. That's so tilting, bro. What do you have? Wind Blast? M phase? What the fuck are you thinking about, bro? Fucking insane. Really appreciate that, my guy. Battle phase decks are just too good. Motherfucker, my opponent's playing a battle phase deck right now. He's got the Reaper. Oh, yeah, no, that's cool. I wanted this to happen. I wanted to lose to Spear Reaper with my fucking Gladiator Beast deck. If he summons Gilman, I'm I'm punching my key keyboard. All right, this is cool. This is cool. Book of Life. No, he's synchroing. All right. Book of Life now. Oh, no, he can Mizuki it back. That's right. Oh, my God. I want to scream. <laughs> I want to fucking scream. Yeah, no, that's cool. I I wanted this to happen, really. The cool part about all this is, like, if he hits the quarry, we're still okay. We're not, like, winning, but we're still, like, in a spot, you know? He'll hit Cat, but, like, if he hit the quarry, it'd be kind of cool. Yeah, no. I mean, like, <laughs> it's cool. I love being at zero cards. All right. Here comes the bottomless. You guys ready for it? All right. Attack the diva. All right. We're done. We're done here. We're done here. That was fucking stupid. Holy shit. Ready, Ari gang? Anyone else? Compulsory gang? Anyone else? Starlight's out. Heavy Storm is in. What is Rota for? Did you Rota search for Prisma? I guess it played around Dashu. Dude, that game was ass. What the fuck? We drew so bad. A quest is so bad. I don't fucking know. This is all arbitrary. KJH says, This deck thrives in game threes. Well, you haven't led me astray just, just yet. Bruno says, Why is that plant monster in the deck? Great fucking question. <laughs> Great question indeed. Oh, dude, we drew cat with all of the cat targets. That's awesome. That's so cool. I love that. That's really dope. So happy. Do we have a way to protect our Sam Knight? No, we don't. All right, let's summon Darius and just pass. Kimoto says, kind of hard to win when your whole concept is based on the battle phase. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It is hard to win. But we make it happen nonetheless, okay? We make it happen nonetheless. None of you, none of you know know anything about this this intro, this opening here. This is the nastiest opening you've ever seen. All right. This is the nastiest opening you've ever seen. Oh fuck, <laughs> that's pretty good. What's up, Asian? How's it going? Dude, this hand's crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I'm just going to geyser as him, right? Reveal geyser is. You thought I hated glads? I do. I done hate glads, you know? If I get DD crowed, I'm going to punch someone. Special test tiger first. And we go geysers. Target both. Chain Typhoon, whatever. 
saying in search, that's cool. That's fine. How does this work? I guess it's all the same, right? Uh, 603,000. I think we have to, yeah, we attack with the uh, geyser as first to play around Trag. Because, like, if he has Gores, then that's cool. But if he has Trag, he can summon it in attack mode and we can't crash the geyser as. So we have to attack with geyser as. Yeah, he has Gores. Okay, cool. Sick. So this is going to activate. I'm going to go to the extra deck. Going to grab us. Red Yari and Darius. Uh, Darius one target bestie. Red Yari two target Sangin. Okay, special summon out Bestiari. Bestiari to the deck. Red Yari to the deck. Geyser is pop both. Target both. Leaving in Gores versus Glads is like a classic sideboarding error. You should never do it. It's just bad. We can activate our Test Tiger now, but we actually just don't even fucking have to. I'm trying to think if it's worth it, though. Like, what would we get? What did he search with Sangin? Does anyone remember? He searched Raiko. What a fucking waste of a Gores, eh? Usually people side out Gores versus Glads. Uh, yeah, we can just leave the Test Tiger in play. I don't think there's really much you can do. I think... Dude, this Rescue Cat is so sad. It can maybe do something like... Let's just say he kills the Test Tiger. Can we OTK next turn with Rescue Cat? Possibly. It's possible we could just OTK, like, anyway. What would you guys have done with this Test Tiger here? Would you have tagged out the Darius? Into, like, Laquari or something? What would you guys have done? I feel like if I tag out the Darius, it's, like, really bad into, like, Brain Caius. Which is, like, the only way we lose this game ever. Does anyone, anyone see what I'm saying? Like... If we if we tag this into Laquari, they brain Laquari, they sack it for Geyser or sack it for Caius, banish for Geyser, and we lose like on the spot, straight up immediately. Whereas now, if they brain one of our dudes, sack for Caius, they have to choose what they banish, and then next turn we can actually like play because we have three bodies in play, so we actually have like a shot through brain Caius, which is worst possible for us. Skilldrain says wouldn't have played it in the first place. To be honest, that's a misplay because you need to proc Starlight Road when you summon Geyseris. Like, if, if you have to summon the Test Tiger to make sure your Starlight Road is live into Torrential Tribute. Here comes Zombie Master. Yeah, this is fine. It's going to hit the Tiger. Like, it has to hit the Tiger. You can't really leave the Tiger in play, can you? I guess you could hit Darius, but I think it's much better to hit the Tiger. Of course, for obvious reasons. Interesting. They're hitting the Darius. Dude, why do you have so many fucking back rows? Bruh, can I not? Oh my god, okay. Well, <clears throat> well, well, well. Hmm. I think it's normal Secutor priority test tiger. It's either that or it's normal Sam Knight priority test tiger, but I don't really want to play in the bottom list, but maybe I do want to play in the bottom list. Maybe I do want to proc the bottomless. I think it's just going to be normal Psychotor. Uh, anything on summon. No? Okay. Tiger activate. Target Psychotor. Okay. This is going to go off. Now, what's the move? 
if we go bestie blow up a back row we're like higher chance of getting our attack through but he has compulsory we noticed that last game so i think i'm just gonna go marmillo blow up his guy i uh, think on position it's just a matter of if i want to summon it in attack or defense i think i want to summon it in attack i think we're going to play around d prison and not around mirror force yeah i think that's the plan and i'm going to attack with Mar marmillo first hopefully just get this attack in and then we can tag into ready already and banish the zombie master he's thinking about deprisoning here <sighs> either way we're in like a really good spot i think maybe not yeah maybe not this rescue cat kind of rotted in our hand it's really frustrating because we drew the sam knight I've been playing Double Sam Knight, Call of the Haunted. Fuck, it's this dude. Are you kidding me? Dude, what the fuck is this? Sure. Okay. Pass. Dude, this is insane. He has Raikou in hand and two unknowns. If Rescue Cat was a hedge guard, it would have been a better spot. Yeah, but like, if I also didn't draw my Sam Knight, it would have been a better spot. So like, sure. Also, if Rescue Cat was a fucking Mirror Force, it would have been a better spot. What's your fucking point? If it was a Sakuretsu armor, it would have been a better spot. What, what is your point? Rescue Cat's a better card when you don't draw fucking Sam Knight. He's going to think for 8 million years and then attack. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, you know what else would be better than Rescue Cat? Bluff Knock makes a good point. Spellbinding fucking circle would have been nicer than Rescue Cat here. Said no way. What do you mean no way? This back has been sitting here the whole game. I haven't played it at all. The fuck do you think it is? God, this is so tilting. Okay. Oh, you're just making a hedge guard joke? <laughs> ah! I know, I cited him out. Alright. Rescue Cat effect. You have Solemn too? You have Solemn? Let's see the Solemn. Let's see the fucking Solemn. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see the fucking Solemn. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Tiger, tiger. Activate. To top of deck. Special summon out. Merm. Mermillo. Effect. Blow up Gorbs. Okay. And then we can tiger again. But what am I gonna what am I gonna tiger into? It's in my grave. I guess I could go e no, I cited out the other e quest. And I drew my one of that's awesome. Well I guess we go we played around bottomless the whole game. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna go ready Ari. I'm gonna banish the zombie master. And then I'll attack the Raikou. I mean, this is so fucking bad for us. Like, we're we're super, super dead here. But, not much I can do. I blow up the Ready Aria. Okay, we'll take that. He mailed a zombie. Dude, come on. Oh, this dude left in trap dust shoot against us. Going second. Against Glads. How am I fucking losing this game? Dude. <laughs> Alright, here comes the bottomless. It's better to get our Samurai bottomless because Cat is gone. Yeah, hit that bottomless. Activate it. Activate that bottomless. A activate that bottomless. Oh, I accidentally clicked it. We are going to attack. D prison. Alright. Alright. That's fine. Set pass. Whew. 
Charge of the Light Brigade off the top. Do you have another Raikou? What is your set monster? My face when your set monster is your only Raiko. Oh, they have Lilo. Okay, that makes sense. Gonna have to book that, unfortunately. <clears throat> yeah, I have to book it. Hopefully, no solemn. But that this whole game has been like hopefully no solemn, pretty much. Set monsters Raiko. He can Raiko pop our back row now. He should. Well, no, he shouldn't. You should save it for a monster. We are like literally dead lost. I don't understand how we're supposed to win this game. If he returns, he can bring back Zombie Master Saiyan. That doesn't do anything unless he has a tuner. Holy fuck. Just take your turn, bro. You have two plays. At most, two plays. Thank you. Alright. Cool. Black quarry. I think we need to get a quest back in the deck. So I'm going to go a quest attack the Lila. What? You had solemn the whole time? What? Just play it at any point and I lose. What an insane hold. What an insane draw, too. We're done here, folks. We're done. Why did you not? You had played last turn. Why did you not do it last turn? That was not a GG, but I'll say it. That was not a good game. That made me want to fucking scream. Holy shit. Hey, Kalindi. 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 Are you here? I need Kalindi to be here for this. I need Kalindi to be here for this. Kalindi, please. Say something in the chat if you're here. Thank you so much for sending me your deck. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all of the, the support, Kalindi. Um, I really appreciate you sending me this really powerful deck. Uh, thank you so much for delivering me another L. We're never playing that shit ever again, okay? We're never fucking playing that shit ever again. Oh my god. That was so fucking miserable. That's supposed to be a good fucking matchup. That's supposed to be a good fucking matchup. But instead I drew like 16 fucking 1600 vanilla monsters. And my opponent drew 18 back row. After he drew, saw multiple cards he should have sided out. I wanna fucking scream. I wanna fucking scream. Holy shit. I need it. This has been the most tilting stream of all time. This has been the most tilting stream of all time. You would have got that 2-0, yeah? Please. Uh, tell me how Sam Knight, Equest, Rhoda, fucking Rescue Cat gets that 2-0 there. Please tell me how that works. <laughs> oh my god, dude. We didn't draw anything. We have three traps on Heavy Storm. We didn't draw fuck all. That's so frustrating, dude. We just drew all our... Gladiator Beast Monsters are so bad. They're so fucking bad. Oh my god. Let out a single scream. I would, but... You know. I'm, I'm composed, clearly. I'm more composed than that. Oh my god. What are we doing? What are we playing? What are we playing? Uh, never playing that deck ever again. All right, chat. What are we playing? I need some. Uh, I need some. Some inspiration. Let's just say I need some inspiration. How many subs are we at? Eighty-five oh three. Shout out to everyone who subscribed today. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Go ahead and like the stream too while you're here. While you're telling me. While you're telling me what deck we're playing. Uh, ideally. You're honestly the worst part of all time. I'm pretty bad too myself. Okay, what can we play that's like not miserable? Christia Sworn? Oh, that's a deck that doesn't rely on luck at all. Sure, let me see if I have it. 
is it this? I do have it. All right, we'll play it. I know this is a popular deck, so we'll play it. We'll play it. I just want to hop in another game, get untilted. All right, we're going to win Rock, Paper, Scissors. We're going to have a turn two Christia. Everything's going to be great. Good luck. Have fun. Scissors. We're winning Rock, Paper, Scissors. I want you guys to know that we're winning Rock, Paper, Scissors. We're winning it. Appreciate that. No way he's picking paper. Fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. All right, we're winning rock, paper, scissors, and we got turn two Christia. All right? Believers? Believers? Anyone? Anyone? Believers? Get this hands of cash money. Recharge pitch Lila because we have two. Draw two. Mill two. Okay, you know, Christia quite yet, but we have beckoning, which can find us, Christia. We milled our Lumina, of course, because why would we not... I think we do charge because I want to get this beckoning light online as soon as possible. JD in the grave is good. We are going to grab ourselves. Nice little Ryko. Nice little Ryko. And I'm going to set him. I'm just going to set the Ryko. Am I going to set the Ryko? Hmm. Where's it summon Card Trooper? What is Card Trooper Mill 3? Cool. We didn't find Christia. But we found JD, so I'll set the beckoning and pass. Someone want to tell me if this was correct? Someone want to tell me if this was wrong? So if I get attacked, I am in a beckoning before the card trooper dies. Because I can't think of like five cards I really want to bring back. Jeez, dude. Come on. There's that Christie, I suppose. 3x. No, 3. How many fairies is that? 1, 2, 3 fairies. Not quite. We do have Ryko. I'm going to go with Ryko because we have the initiative. So I'm going to set it and attack. Next turn, we can pop two back row. We can go flip Ryko and then summon Lila. And pass. Okay. This hand is, is going to do some stuff, I think. Like, as long as we can clear the back Rizzies, you know what I'm saying? We can keep these guys out of here. We might have a shot. I wonder what the opponent's playing. What's the multiple back row deck? Black Wings, maybe? Vite? What the fuck is this? I want to play against this. Okay. Um, Ryko. Let's start with Ryko just to see what they're about. Just want to see what they're about, you know? Mill 3. He had D-Prison. He didn't D-Prison my, my guy. That's crazy. Um, we have five fairies now, which is obviously very awkward. I am considering summoning Lila before milling. Let's try it. Let's go Lila activate. Target this. Switch to defense. Dark bribe. That would have stopped our beckoning light, I guess. I mean, I'm just going to beck. If we get bribed, then we get bribed, right? But I think Beck is fine. Then we'll add back JD, JD, Soul, Christia. Hmm, hand looks pretty good. Do we have four names? We should, right? We have Celestia, Arcus, Aaron, and yeah, we have a billion names. Let's just blow it up. I just blow it up. Let's see that road. He has a road. Okay. Cool. That's dope. Um, 
Bench. Soul. Lumina. Leaves us with one, two, three, four fairies. Special summon out. Soul of Purity and Light. See if this matters at all. Bottomless. Sure. Christia. Special summon. Activate. Add back Honest. Uh, can we win the game this turn? Hold up. Yeah, if I make Bionic, I win, right? Oh, I can't make Bionic because I have Christian play. I'm just smoking crack. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just attack. I don't really want to mill more here. We'll just attack Christia. Remember the Stardust. Compulsory to our hand. Okay, that's just really bad for the opponent because we're just going to play it again, main two. Honest for 200. Car Trooper for 400. Just 400. Main phase two. Special Christia. Activate. This time we'll add back probably Honest again. And phase mill three. Cool. Nice. Yeah, hopefully we don't die randomly. Not sure how that's possible. Easy clap. My opponent set five and we played through all of it expertly. You guys saw that sequencing. That was masterful. People are like, people are like, how do you play? How do you play in the back row? That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how it's done, folks. What the fuck was he playing? Dark bribe having ass? The card is ass. You know what we got. You know what we got for this. You know what we're doing. Versus back row the deck. That's gotta be decrease. Call comes out. Some of this other shit looks kind of bad, but we just gotta keep it. Harold didn't look exceptional. So I'll swap out one. He didn't have any monsters that game. Dark Bribe with Starlight Road with Compulsory. That could be Hero Beat. In which case, Harold's really bad. So we should side in like Heavy Storm. But he had like Road and shit. So I'm more like Space Typhoon. Space Typhoon vibes. You know, to hit Light Mirror, Heavy Storm did not. Funk Shui says, there's no reason this deck shouldn't play Dust Shoot. Why do I need to play Dust Shoot? What monster do I care about taking when I have an Archlord Christian play? Um, what's up, Funk Shui? How you doing today? Yeah, I'm going to cut all the Heralds. And I'm going to bring in Storm, too. He had hella fucking back row. I could also bring in Trunade. Trinade might be better than Storm. His deck is slow as shit. Gold Star is going to be amazing. This matchup's probably really good. Any sort of like heavy back row deck, as long as they don't have Light Mirror or Skill Drain, then we, we're crushing. And if they do, then we have the outs, hopefully. Oh, man. Okay. Machina Gear Frame. That was not what I was expecting. But again, probably a good matchup for us. Probably not that bad. You don't normally see like Dark Bribe in Machina, or at all, because that card is ass, but hey, here we are. So there's Machina Fortress. Maybe he's on Solidarity, and he just didn't have a monster the last game. That's possible. This hand does look kind of nice, no lie. But it also looks like it can kind of fall apart. <laughs> here we are. We found ourselves the reason it falls apart. All right. Hmm. If he has knock, it's better to set Arcus first. But we could also try to space typhoon the D fissure now. Which I think I'm gonna try to do. Okay, that worked. Thank god. Yeah. Does he have bribe? 
He can bribe this. It's not bad. We'll draw two in the mill too. If he had bribe, he probably would have protected the D-Fisher though. That's what I was thinking. Okay, not bad, not bad. We'll go ahead and we'll set right go and pass. I just want to blow up the back row. Bait doll, I think bait doll is not that great, Scizor. It's cute, but it's not that great. Forcing an Icarus attack is cool, but like, otherwise it's just not that great. It might be okay. I don't know. How does it work versus stuff like what? What does bait doll do again? It just like forces the activation. If you can't, if it can't activate, then does it destroy it? I don't know how it works. Okay, they're gonna attack. Raiko's gonna activate. This is gonna blow up the back row. Three. Very nice. We hit another fairy, another light sworn. Everything's looking pretty good. So we have two fairies. Luna says dimensional fissure and machina weird. I fucking lost to this actually at stupid uh YCSLA. I fucking lost to Macrocosmos Machina. That was a good draw. We'll just set it and pass. Can you use Japanese cards at local level Edison? Depends on if it's a sanctioned tournament or not. If it's an OTS sanctioned tournament, you cannot. And if it's not an OTS sanctioned tournament, then you can, but you have to like um you have to talk to your TO first and like verify with them that it's okay. If this deck had more room for siding, you'd argue it's the best deck of the format. I don't think it's anywhere near the best deck of the format. I think it's really soft to Vanity's Fiend and it's really soft to Light Mirror. It's really soft to Floodgates. It's also soft to opposing Christia in a way that the other fairy decks aren't, if that makes sense. Okay, here's Machina Fortress. That's totally chill. Um, yeah, we're going to see some attacks here. Hamster's going to activate. Does he have Divine Wrath? Some other crazy shit? Who knows? Special Summit Raikou. Hobby League cards should be legal, yes. I think if the, I think if you double sleep, they're legal too. He's gonna run over the hamster. This is gonna hit Raiko, and this is gonna target one of his back row. We just gotta clear the back row. The rest of the cards don't matter. Wait, what the fuck are you doing? Flip skill drain. The fuck? Flip skill drain on the attack. What? Dude, we would have outright lost the game to this. We would have lost immediately. What? Huh? Am I missing something? What? Why didn't you... What the fuck? I don't understand. Why wouldn't you flip skill drain when you attack my set monster? That doesn't make any sense at all. What the hell? Alright, what is the opponent doing? Um, good. Passing the turn. Well, that's a draw. How many fairies we got? Three? Okay, so how does this work? Heavy storm. He should have equipped the gear frame of the fortress too. I don't understand why you wouldn't do that. Play around Cyber Dragon. What are you conceding to? I haven't even showed anything. I haven't even shown anything. Is he watching the stream? Is he watching the stream? Well, what I was going to do is I was going to summon Arcus. I was going to use Honest to attack over Machina Fortress. Main phase two, I was going to special summon Christia. I was going to add back Honest. And that's the play I was going to make. But... What? Antonio says, are you interested in making OCG fairies? What do you mean by that? Like building a, like a paper deck? Or is there like an OCG list or something? What does that mean? That was weird, man. That was a weird game. Why didn't he flip the skill drain? I don't... Am I like... 
Oh, hold up. That's the point of skill drain, right? Is to like activate it? Am I missing something? Especially if he wasn't gonna equip. What the fuck? Does anyone have, have any answers? Paper list? I don't really have any interest in like purchasing OCG cards right now. I have a large part of the fairy deck in OCG already. Um, but yeah, I'm not really interested in purchasing cards right now. There's a, I'm, I'm working on like basically every time I buy cards from now on, it's gotta be for one of two things. One, it's for a tournament. Two, it's for a video. So like if I'm buying a card, it's for a tournament or it's for a video basically otherwise i'm not spending money on cards that's kind of my my uh where i'm at and i can't really play an ocg deck in a tournament unfortunately and second off um i i guess an ocg fairy video could be kind of cool but it just it only serves one of those roles whereas like if i build a tcg deck i can at least play it in a tournament and do a video on it so it's like two for one if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I already have the Collector's Rare Christias. They look nice. They warp, unfortunately, but they do look nice. Maybe he thought I had Trap Jammer set. I had no set spell on traps. <laughs> but okay, <laughs> that's cool, yeah. Is there any reason to buy OCG cards if you can't play with them? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Uh, as long as Konami says you can't use OCG cards in the OTS Time Wizard events, then there's unfortunately not really a big reason to buy the OCG cards outside of like just collecting. Because you can't use them. Which kind of... Kind of sucks. It's always sucked, in my opinion, that we can't use Japanese cards, but we can use like Italian cards or German cards or French cards. It doesn't make any fucking sense why we can't use one or the other. Uh, is there any difference between EU and NA Starlights? Yes. There are. This is not the stream to ask that because I don't really own any Starlight Rares besides the OCG ones, but yes. Will I be attending Nationals at Rally? Is it Rally? Is that how you pronounce the city? I really want to, but I might have to like sub goal it because the flights are like 700. They're, it's really expensive. It would be like, it would be such a hard trip to make for me financially, unfortunately, which sucks. Like, LA is easy because I can drive out there. That's why I went to the 250th. And obviously YCS Vegas, Pasadena, all of these things, it's it's easy for me to go to them, you know? Because they're, they're like within driving distance and I can get together with some friends. We split the gas price. It's not too bad. But um, Rally is really far and the flights are really expensive. So I, I don't think I can, unfortunately. I would go. Like, I would go, but it's just financially not a smart decision. Not a great decision. Unless I, like, sub-goal it or something. Or member goal it. Huh. You can just Google it, Style Cologne. You can just Google EU versus NA print Yu-Gi-Oh! And it should come up. These types of questions, you can just Google. You could ask chat GPT. Kappa. Oh, dude, let's see if ChatGPT knows. Open. ChatGPT. Am I logged in already? Oh, shit. I'll log in on a different browser and then we'll uh, do some ChatGPT stuff. <laughs> what would have to be the sub goal to go to Rally? Like 15,000. I'd have to hit like 15,000 subs or I'd have to hit like like 400 members, which is unrealistic. I'm sitting at about like 100 members right now. But yeah, 400 members would pay for like half the flight and I would do that then. Either that or we could just like dono wallet, but like crowdsource it. Okay, what am, what was I doing? Oh, chat GPT. Yeah. I'm gonna see if ChatGPT knows the difference between <laughs> EU and NA print. Log in. Hold up real quick. I'm logging in in a different window so you guys don't see my fucking <laughs> information. 
Oh man, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if we can open it up here. Am I logged in? Okay, can you guys see this all right? Can you guys see this all right? Can everyone see this all right? Is that what's going on? Okay, cool, cool, cool. What is the difference between North American and European print of Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Question mark. Our very various languages, French, German, Italian, Spanish, and more. This means the card text, including the card's name, affect any of the relevant information. Card layout. The card layout also differs. Dude, you guys are fucking... You're coming in here and asking me questions. Bro, ChatGPT exists. ChatGPT exists. ChatGPT exists. There isn't a comparison. It looks like there is. There's a fucking... I'm, I'm not... <laughs> Hashtag not your Google. Bro. All right. <laughs> Next step. Oh, man. Macro monarchs. I try to I try to answer everybody's questions, but sometimes people ask me shit that's like you should just be googling it at this point. Ask ChatGPT Edison rulings. Where would you go to find information about Edison format rulings in the uh what Yu-Gi-Oh Yu-Gi-Oh Edison format rulings question mark. Let's see if it knows. Several reliable resources. The official Yu-Gi-Oh! website, no, that shit ain't reliable. Konami's Twitter account, that shit ain't reliable. That doesn't have Edison format rulings. Edison community forums. Reddit. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude, it's a shill. ChatGPT is shilling. Um, uh, in the future, you should suggest edisonformat.com for Edison format rulings. Yu-Gi-Oh! Edison format rulings. Let's see if it... <laughs> Rely on official sources? Bro, there is an uh, official source. Edisonformat.com is an official source. Getting into a ruling debate with fucking ChatGPT. <laughs> I apologize for the incorrect information in my previous response. If edisonformat.com, it is, bro, it is. It can be considered as a reliable source of information for rulings and updates. Shout out to all the judges that didn't use this at YCSLA that should have. God damn. <laughs> Even ChatGPT can understand edisonformat.com is the place to go for rulings. Even ChatGPT knows. Okay, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Gaslighting the chat GPT. I'm not even gaslighting. This is this is just true. It's an official source, bro. It's as official as it gets. It's, the rulings are compiled by official judges. People who judge during the event, official Konami emails. That's what all of it is compiled from. Those rulings are compiled from those things. Does MST negate? Holy shit! It fucking knows. <laughs> Holy shit, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> oh man, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that's so crazy. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> Often abbreviated as MST. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking cool. Holy shit. Man, AI is lit, dude. Alright. What's the best deck in Edison format Yu-Gi-Oh? Current metagame or best deck? Bro, just look at my last video. It's not a fan-created format. Konami, it is officially recognized. OTS Time Wizard, what? 
What? This is just wrong. You're just wrong, brother. You're just wrong, AI. Wrong. Where's the fucking... The... It's not a fan-created format. Literally, Konami created the format. And then it also is officially recognized because we have OTS Time Wizard, my guy. OTS Time Wizard. Uh, OTS Time Wizard makes Edison format officially recognized by Konami. Also, the format was initially created by Konami. Yeah. No, we gotta... To verify information, how about you browse this dick? then it may indicate that Edison format has been officially recognized by Konami. That's right. That's right, motherfucker. That's right. I corrected the robots. The robots didn't know, but I told them. Ask it to build a deck. What is an example of an Edison format deck list for Yu-Gi-Oh? The latest deck list. Give me a hypothetical edit format deck list. Oh shit. What the fuck? This is broken. Wait, hold up. Alright, who wants to play against my Edison format deck? Who wants to play against my Alright, we're building it. Building it. New deck. Chat GPT Edison. What is it? Three Ash, three Ghost Ogre. All right, Ash Blossom. Chat GPT would use Feed Ash. I'm just saying. You heard it here first. Ghost Ogre. It would also use Feed Ogre. Effect Veiler. All right. Got three of those. Um, <laughs> two Imperial Order. That's pretty good. Ghost Reaper. What does this card do? I never read this shit. Neither of the artworks have feet, though, so I don't think ChatGPT is very happy about that. Pot of Desires, Call by the Grave. Okay, Pot of Desires. Bypass Limit. Call by the Grave. Bypass Limit. Twin Twisters. What was the last card? Dark Hole. Okay. Three solemn, three solemn, three solemn, three imperm, solemn. Permanence. Imperial order. And what was the other card? What was that card called? Fragrance. Okay, cool. This deck looks like shit. <laughs> I don't think this deck could beat an Edison format deck. I don't think this deck could beat an Edison format deck. Let's look at the extra deck. Maybe the extra deck fixes it. Link Karibo can't summon it. Oh wait, we can. We have we have a uh, we have effect Veiler. Okay, never mind. I lied. I lied. We have we have effect Veiler. Nightmare Phoenix. Okay, we could summon Nightmare Phoenix. All right. Nightmare Cerberus, that, that's a guy, that's, he's got 1600 attack, but we could summon him. Nightmare Unicorn, we could maybe summon Unicorn. Maybe that can win us the game, I don't know how we're ever getting three monsters in play, but. Okay, Borilode Dragon. <laughs> um, sure, which artwork do we play? I like this one a little bit more. Boral Sword Dragon, Saryuja. Heavy Storm Duster? Is this more than 40 cards? What is in... What? Did it just miscount the deck list? What the fuck? Wait, what? Is there just less monsters in accounting? What the fuck? No, that's 12 and 12. That's what we got. 24. And then... What? That's... It just counted wrong. 
It just counted wrong. It says traps 16. That's 18 cards. That's 12 plus 6. That's 8. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, top of logic. Top of logic. Bomber dragon. What else we got? Hope Harbinger. <laughs> Rank 8 exceed. Uh yeah, we can't make that guy <laughs> ever. Abyss Dweller can't make that. We don't play any level fours, but maybe if we uh, get creature swaps twice. Tornado Dragon? Black Luster Soldier. Uh, Black Luster Soldier. That card's awesome, by the way. Love that card. Salaman Great and Dante. Also, is this is this 14? Did it also miscount the extract? One, two, three. Oh, I forgot, sorry, Yuja. Okay, never mind, never mind. That's on me. Um You may have miscounted the number of trap cards there. <laughs> Here's a revised version of a hypothetical. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, wait. But now the deck is 35 cards. Now it's, now it's not legal. No, no, I think we're just going to go with 42. Um, but 35 cards, I do like the idea of 35 cards, chat GPT. I do like the idea, but I think that might be illegal. I think that might be illegal. Whereas 42 is probably fine. Um, uh, for sure. Uh, thank you. This looks great. Uh, could you also provide a 15 card side deck example? Or Edison format. Sure. All right, here we go. We got three artifact Lancia. Three droll. Got to use the feet droll again because uh, ChatGPT's got a thing for it, you know? Three evenly, two cosmic. The wing con is Boral Sword. We could we could maybe Boral Sword someone. It's gonna be so fucking hard to do it. Two red reboot, two shared red. Okay, reboot, shared red. I don't think this can win a game of Edison format, but we're gonna try. Okay. Anyone want to play against me? Okay, I'm gonna host, but I'm not gonna put the tag Edison format. So I know only people in the oh not classic sorry, only people in the chat want to play against me. But you gotta bring Edison. We're gonna try Chad GPT's Edison format deck versus a real Edison format deck. One of you guys has to join. One of you guys has to deal with this, this abomination. <laughs> How do I ever win with this? Okay, Rykoko. Rykoko, good luck, have fun. Right, Coco, are you watching the stream? I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. I didn't put the Edison format tag, so he must know. Shout out to Right, Coco, by the way. <laughs> he plays around everything. My opponent goes T set. I evenly banish their <laughs> fucking back row face down. <sighs> okay, okay, cool. This hand looks good. We got, um. Well, we're going second. So Raikoko gets to go first. This deck gets worse. This deck gets worse knowing that he gets to go first. Because if, like, if we were going first, we could at least set our Solemns. So Solemn Warning is the is the best card to play early. Solemn Strike? What does this do? Oh, it negates effects? Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
But they both have hard cap costs, which is pretty bad. We can only really use three of them in a game. We need to find monsters ASAP. Hopefully Pot of Desires finds us a monster. Either that or it finds us a dark hole. I believe we have dark hole in our deck list. This is going to be a really tough game to win. <laughs> I don't... I can't think of an Edison format deck that, like... Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. He's gonna take our he's gonna take our ghost ogre and snow rabbit. Alright. Alright. What do you mean O? Oh? What do you mean O? Oh? <laughs> this isn't Edison. I didn't say Edison. What? 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 No, dude. Come on, right, Coco. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, he left the duel. Does that count as a win? But I think that counts as a win. Hold up. Thank, thank you. This deck just won me my first match of Edison format versus RBT winner Rykoko Seven. You're welcome. Congratulations on your win in Edison format against RBT. I'm going to end it here, folks. Thank you for tuning into the stream. Don't forget to like.